So in France, there is only three days left before Sunday's last round to pick the next president. The centrist Emmanuel Macron will face Marine Le Pen in a historic turn point for France. Those elections will shape the face of the country and Europe. Joining me in the studio is our correspondent, Alexander Carey. Hello, and thank Hi. you for joining Hello. us. Uh, so, the last debate of the campaign was um, uh, took place yesterday. And as we have already said, it was pretty intense. Yeah. Uh, and mm. there is already have been outcomes. So, according to the polls, who is leading at this point? Uh, after Just after the debate, 63% of the voters uh, have been convinced by Emmanuel Macron's performance. Mm -hmm. And I've been, and the polls after this, basically uh, Marine Le Pen lost one point, so she's at 39% at, at now, and he is at 61% uh, now. Which is understandable, because if you, if you watch the debate, uh, she was really aggressive and, and really uh, personal in, in her attack and really insultant towards Emmanuel Macron, who tried to keep his calm and to be a bit more uh, quiet and to pull, out, to pull out argument of reason more than emotions. She actually tried to trumpize uh, for the last run of mm -hmm. the campaign with like low-class phrases and some sort of attitudes to push him in the corner, which she actually uh, didn't do. And, um, uh, fun fact, she actually at the end um, said that, um, or threatened Macron, saying that, uh, I, qu I quote, uh, we hope that no one will find that you have an account, an, an offshore, offshore account in the Bahamas, mm -hmm. which basically accusing him of hiding money. And today he filed, he, he and his team filed a complaint against uh, Marine Le Pen. So it's going to be the seventh case where uh, Marine Le Pen has to uh, face court and judges. So if, in case she, she doesn't become the president, will she have to be taken in custody for all those... If uh, if she doesn't if she doesn't doesn't win, the her parliamentary European parliamentary immunity will be lifted. It's already on the process of being lifted, mm -hmm. and so she will lose this immunity and she will have to face the judge. In many cases, one of them is a Euro Parliament uh, misappropriation of funds, and apparently she allegedly would owe about 7.5 million euros to the Euro Parliament That's a big for sum of money. it's a big sum of money. For, for, for a fictitious job in Europe Parliament, plus an undervaluation of, his, of her patrimony, uh, and so far and so far. And, but mo most of the case are around, revolving around the fact that she took some public funds and uh, put those funds in, some, in campaigning for her own party, which is illegal in France. But still, the election process is not over and anything may happen. And, and cases continue to, continue to pop up. Uh, for example, uh, since the beginning of the week, there have been revelations about the financing of uh, the National Front by Russian funds. We knew already that, uh, yes, and that she there said, were links to the exactly. Like she said, she said, she said publicly that those funds were coming from Russia, but we didn't have the proof, and we didn't know why and uh, why why she had those funds. And it all revolves about uh, this guy that we're going to see now. His name is uh, Jean-Luc Schaffhauser and is uh, Euro deputy at the Euro Parliament, as his National Front Euro deputy. And uh, he actually uh, did the intermediary mm -hmm. between Russian businessmen and a Russian oligarch, uh, namely Babakov, uh, to give money uh, to uh, National Front in exchange, and a, ma a mail has been leaked about it, of a um, position stance about Ukraine in the Euro Parliament. Marine Le Pen didn't do this, uh, this didn't use this memo, but Jean-Luc Schaffhauser did, and did uh, to take a, a really pro-Russian, curiously, uh, hmm. position in the Euro Parliament, more or less uh, at the same moment. He also flew to Donbass uh, in the 30th of October to legitimize uh, the elections, um, the elections in the separatist in the uh, occupied area, territories. in the occupied territories. So um, it's, it shows how much linked uh, Russia uh, and, and National Front are, and it's just show exactly why um, Marine Le Pen received, received those, those funds. In general, to sum up, what is the forecast of the elections for France this year? Well, this year, um, Emmanuel Macron, for all the projections, seems to, to be winning. But there is also um, a lot of, there will be a lot of abstention because the far right forces of uh, the, so, sorry, my mistake, the left-right forces of La France Insoumise mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, are still 
still hesitate of who to vote. A third will vote Macron, third will, won't, won't vote at all, and uh, another third uh, will vote white. But the white vote is not counted in France. Mm -hmm. So the balance is still unclear here. And still, the polls, the, the polls now are 61% for Macron and 39% uh, for Le Pen. This is still very in intriguing. Thank you so much for sharing this information with us. This was Alexander Carey, UATV's correspondent.